Well, guys, it's been fun, but welcome to the last episode of Let's Play Boktai 3 Sabatis Counterattack. Of course, this may not be the la- well, whether this is split into two parts or something, this is the last episode. I'm not going to be doing introductions for two parts or something. But anyways, oh, really quick, before we go and fight, it's going to be a while before I go and do Lunar Nights, which is the fourth Boktai game. <clears throat> It's not a direct sequel, it's kind of like a Legend of Zelda thing. Yeah, well... I'll get into it once we do... when I do get around to it. <clears throat> I won't be starting it right away after this, because I need to get back to doing Mega Man ZX Advent, and then once I get a Vita TV, I'll be recording God Eater 2 and stuff. But... I mentioned this earlier, but I'm gonna mention it now. Do you want me to, when I do get around to doing it, do you want me to call it Lunar Nights or Boktai DS like it is in Japan? I mean, it's up, if no one says anything, I'll just, you know, call it Lunar Nights. But if you want it as Boktai DS, put it in the comments. I don't care, pause the video now and go and put it in there, because no one says anything and they really want it to be Boktai DS, it's going to be Lunar Nights. <clears throat> this isn't hearing music at all. Look at that, we've got nice air pushing us back. And this isn't ominous and creepy at all, right? I mean, look at this. I mean, for a Game Boy Advance game, this is honestly really... Some of the stuff in these, well, this game especially, are just really nice for a Game Boy Advance game. <clears throat> either. Pile of red skulls. You came, Kuro. Sabata, are you alright? <laughs> what a stupid question. That body. Then you're already... Yes, I am the Lord of Destruction. Now every bit of me is connected to Vanagind. The beast inside me speaks to me. It says to destroy. To destroy all living creatures. And above all, Kuro, to defeat you. What are you talking about? The will of the galaxy universe is to destroy everything that lives on our star. The enemy you must defeat. Isn't Dark the one you should be fighting? What happened to the real you, Sabata? The real me. <laughs> this is the real me. My true desire is Ragnarok. I asked you before. What's left after you destroy the world? No people, no plants or animals. What's the point of a world like that? What's left after the destruction? Nothing is left, but... The end of one world is the beginning of a new one. Just like with Ragnarok. That which has been lost cannot return. But for it to be reborn in the new world, that's my ultimate wish. With the pure shard I have, that will be possible. That's ridiculous. What you're doing is no different from the immortals. The most fundamental thing about living beings is that death gives meaning to life. It's that will that opens up the way to the future. Rebirth, you say? If you resurrect those who have lost their lives, those who have entrusted us with the future, that's nothing but betrayal. Do you think Ringo and Mani? Do you think Carmilla would have wanted that? Answer me, Sabata! Kuro, what are you going to do? Can you do it? Can you stop me? Can you defeat me now that I've become the Beast of Destruction? I think not. It's too late for all that. Let's go, Solar Boy Kuro! I would have just read Solar Boy Kuro since he said let's go in Japanese, but it would have just seemed odd. I hate Vanergend. Let's see, what are you gonna start off doing?
Yeah, my new sword is nice and strong. why I didn't just start rapidly pressing the button considering this rapier basically does three really quick stabs before it actually attacks. You're gonna do it again? Okay. He's usually... There we go. How naive, Kuro. Why don't you attack me? If you defeat me, you won't be able to stop the Beast of Destruction. You won't be able to protect your friends. All life on our star. Or the future. Or perhaps, have you given up on everything and accepted the situation? I'll bring about the de yeah. I'll bring about the destruction and the rebirth. <laughs> Remember, if you want that best ending, don't hit Sabata. It's really not that hard to do. Not that hard to avoid. Oh, God! Oh, come on! I keep letting go of the friggin' button! Jeez. Like every time I press the button to attack, it doesn't actually attack. Whoop. Oh, hey. Don't transform yet if you're wanting to. I would wait. Well, if your attack is really high, then that's fine, but I'm only level 40, so. Ah! Notice, but my rapier just broke. Damn it. Nice thing is just attacking the hands and its head and reflecting those beams. God! They'll never go after him. Damn it. That's definitely my bad. I'm doing really well here. Uh, let's get rid of the jerky. Come on! Oh god, I almost hit Sabata. I'm so glad I wasn't close enough. Why, Kuro? Are you afraid to kill me? We've sacrificed so many in order to get here. We stand at the end of a path stained with blood. What are you afraid of now? Just whose blood dyed that crimson scarf? <laughs> oh, now those words going to get fun. That's actually easier. Oh no! Crap! Damn, I didn't see that. That's the one thing I hate about this fight, is everything's like off screen. Alright, which one are you doing now? Oh well I got the right hand. Good. 
No move! Stand in front of it. Two more hits. No, oh, run, run, run! How much damage does that do? I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's an instant kill. That's all I'm gonna guess on it. Don't get hit by the green one. That one is basically poison, so... When you get hit, you just, you know, get the extremely blurry screen like when you normally get poison. Into it! <laughs> I hate this. Man, again, you're a pain in the ass. Ah, I hit that too late. Yeah. Damn it! I hate that! It doesn't matter, well, you're usually fine going one way or the other when you see it moving, but... Come on, move, move, move! Alright, and next time I should be able to kill him with going into trance. Why, Kuro? Why do you go so far? Do you actually... me? I... just what am I? Uh, uh. Did we do it? Did we defeat Vanagon, an Eternal that surpassed life and death? It turned to stone. That's... the Crying Witch's petrifying ability that once shattered me. Carmilla! Master Otenko, Kuro... Master Sabata's soul is being absorbed by Vanergans. At this rate, he's going to end up becoming the Beast of Destruction. To stop that, the only thing I could do was to make Vanergan his gravestone in eternal slumber together. No way. To stop the world from collapsing, I had to do this now. To grant him his final wish. Carmilla, if you can hear my voice, please listen. Vanagon's power is formidable. I can't keep opposing its will forever. If I give in to Vanagon again, if that happens, please finish me off yourself. I know you can do it. Knowing that guy, you'll definitely have the chance. Right, Carmilla? Sabata, 
Is there really nothing we can do to save you after all? Does so much have to be sacrificed to reach the future? Tell me! Ringo, Moni, Trinity! <laughs> Th that was... Master Sabata? No, Vanergind. Did he overcome my petrification that easily? No, at this rate... Carmilla! The sunlight! Use my power! Master Otenko! No, if you do that, you'll... I don't care. If we don't defeat Vanergen here, there won't be a future anyway. Kuro, get out of here. There's still something you need to do. To live and build the future. <gasps> Excuse me. You inherited that life from Ringo and Mani. Your children, your descendants. Go, build the future with that life. To live, that is the battle you must fight now. I... I'm not going. I can't let any more people be sacrificed. Worry not. Even if I'm gone, you will never be alone. The sun will always keep shining on you and all life on our star. Everyone's waiting for your return. Now run! Thank you, Kuro. Farewell, Solar Boy. <clears throat> Trinity, Sabata, Carmilla, Master Otenko. They're all gone. Everyone was sacrificed. Even so, I. Oh, I don't know that. Destroy. Destroy. Vanerkind! Oh no. But then everyone... What was the point? This isn't the kind of future I fought for. No. I didn't want this. Carmilla! Kuro, get a hold of yourself. Remember his words. Fight, Kuro. Fight on until the end. Everything else can wait. Never give up. Because that indomitable spirit of yours is your greatest weapon. This is Vanagon's final struggle. Just a little farther and I can turn the Beast of Destruction to stone. But I need more power. The sunlight isn't strong enough. Kuro, keep on driving. Lure Vanagon out of the shadow of the lunar eclipse and expose him to direct sunlight. Don't forget, we haven't been sacrificed. As long as you don't give up, our feelings will live on within you. Right, Kuro? Let's go! Get out of here. I like the way Vanagon looks there. That's actually, in my opinion, that's ridiculously well detailed for Omar. Come on! Well, actually, I can drive on the dirt with no problem. Just a bit farther! I came this far, but I won't give up again!
your spirit, believing in tomorrow, never giving up on the future. I used up all my power in Vanergan's darkness, but your spirit called me back. Looks like there's still something I have to do. Well, we died. End of the game. Let's just stop the recording here. Ah, damn. Are you alright, Curl? Yeah. You're safe too, Master Otenko! It seems there was no need to worry, but... No matter how hard today is, tomorrow will always come. As long as the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun exist, as long as people don't give up on the future. All right, Kuro. Let's finish this. Go! Deliver the light of the sun to Carmilla inside Vanergant. With Carmilla's power, turn the beast of destruction to stone from within. That's what Sabata himself wants. <laughs> but yeah, Vanagon's model there is ridiculously high detail for a Game Boy Advance game. I mean, this game looks much better than half of the DS games that are out. Why, Carmilla? Why only me? Master Sabata, please don't be sad. If I don't stay here, I can't keep Vanagon sealed in stone. But you... You must not die yet. You still have friends who believe in you, your precious family. Keep living into the future, and don't dwell on the past. But what will happen to you, alone like this? Going into eternal slumber alongside the Beast of Destruction? Is that your future? My soul is now connected to Vanergan. I suppose that I... I will become one with Vanergan regardless. Impossible! It's alright. I'll never lose. If I gained one thing from meeting you, it's this thought. I will fight. Even if the enemy is the Beast of Destruction, even if the fight continues for eternity, that feeling alone will never falter. Carmilla. Goodbye, Master Otenko. Goodbye, Crow. Goodbye, my beloved Dark Boy. Farewell, dear witch, phantom of my youth. I won't turn my back on you. In the great cycle of life and death, may we meet again someday. Don't leave. The ending actually comes after the credits. It's annoying, I know, but, well, just have to wait a bit. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna shut up here, and I'll meet you guys back at the ending. And yes, we did get the best ending. I hope.
the legendary warriors praised in the future era. But that's not a single warrior wor uh, warrior they're talking about. The Solar Children have fought against the Immortals since ancient times. You two brothers, your father Ringo who inherited that blood, and the friends who support you. And then the people who trust in the future and don't worry about tomorrow, and everything allied with the sun. They each have their own battles. All of them combined were passed down to the future as the Legendary Warrior. Hey, that ain't how it goes! The Legendary Warrior really exists! He's right in front of you! There he is. Ouch! Damn, that nearly split my ass in half! Yeah... I'm the legendary warrior, Trinity! You look surprised! When I was hit by Ratatosk, this blue poncho, a memento from my mom, protected me. She was defeated by that jerk, but she was really strong, you see. I put on this helmet to protect myself from her fists. Trinity, why didn't you tell us right away that you were alright? Uh, that's because... By the time I realized you guys were all Oh, by the time I realized, you guys were already so worked up. Well, I didn't want to ruin the atmosphere, right? Right, right, right. That's not right! <laughs> I like how Trinity just steals the spotlight. The sun will rise tomorrow, but... Wishes alone won't change the future. Tomorrow's changes affect the future. Today's changes affect the future. Oh, affect tomorrow. The changes one person can make today are small. But they add up, and in time, the future changes. Sun and darkness, their future. The sun will rise tomorrow. So I will fight. Alongside our sun. Yep. That's the end of Boktai 3. And I'd say about a quarter of that playtime is level grinding. Save the game? Might as well. I don't remember the last time I actually saved this game <laughs> during recording. <sighs> well, yep, yeah, that that's it. Boktai 3 is officially over now, so... Well, yep, yeah, that's it for Let's Play Boktai 3. It, honestly, playing through that game again, I'm going to have to change my... I'm actually still kind of trying to decide now whether I like Boktai 2 or 3 more. Story-wise and everything else, most of the things I'm going to have to go with Boktai 3, but gameplay elements I'm probably going to have to side with 2. More of the stuff I like are in this one, though, so I might make decide that... I think this one's actually my favorite. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this while it was running, and, well, it's gonna be a while before Lunar Nights or Boktai DS starts up, since I've got other projects that I've obviously been putting off for a while. And, in all honesty, well, most people probably know this, but Lunar Nights is in a direct sequel to Boktai, so... There's not really much to say, so... So yeah, I'm just gonna end this off here. So again, hope you all enjoyed the ride while it was going, and I will see you all for the next project. So, until then, see you later, guys.